Think about a gift that's very special to you. What is it about that gift that makes it so special? Well, that gift likely has two different things. First of all, it has some basic function that benefits you or others in some way. And the second thing about it is that it has special meaning from the person who gave it to you. There's a special gift, a very significant gift that I want to talk to us today about, and that gift is sexuality. You see, a lot of us are pretty familiar with the basic um, function, basic benefits of this gift. Um, we're pretty familiar that it's a very significant, very powerful gift. Yet in the same way that it's a very significant and powerful gift in its function and its benefit, I believe it also has a very significant meaning from God who gave it to humanity. Paul talks about this gift um, in Ephesians chapter 5. He talks about the meaning of this gift. Um, this is a part of the chapter where he's referring to uh, husbands and wives and a healthy marriage relationship. Um, and in verse 31 he says, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So he gives us a basic picture of sexuality and then he goes on to say, this is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. So in this picture of sexuality, um, what Paul is saying is this is an incredible gift, but this incredible gift points us to the love story of Jesus and his people of Christ and the church. This is the way God has intended sexuality to be, that, that we can be able to look at a marriage and see that the way the husband treats the wife is the way that Jesus treats us, the way that Jesus values us. So when they see the, the husband who, who delights in his wife, finds her beautiful and precious, he looks out for her, he cares for her, um, they should see that, that Jesus in the same way finds us beautiful and precious. He looks out for us. He cares for us. And when they, when they look at a wife who, who, who uh, trusts her husband, loves her husband, and, and is safe and secure in her husband and delights in him and is satisfied in him, um, they also should be able to see that, that in the same way we can trust Jesus, we can delight in him, we can find satisfaction and joy in him as well. When you look to even uh, the picture of sexuality among singles, where, where a single man um, is able to recognize a woman who, who he finds beautiful and precious, he's willing to pursue her passionately and um, invite her into relationship with himself in the same way Jesus sees you and I um, and he sees us uh, beautiful and precious and he passionately pursued us. And, there on the cross when he came into the world, he lived a perfect life on our behalf and then he passionately pursued us even to the cross of taking all our curse, our shame, our brokenness, our condemnation, everything that would pull us away from him, pull us away from relationship with him. And, and he took us, took all that in his body, he died for us that we might live now with him. We see this also um, in the story of sexuality in that a woman's heart tends to be, um, tends to grow in attraction towards a man um, as she spends time with him and as she recognizes um, how her heart feels when she's with this man. So as, as she feels peaceful, as she feels joyful, as she feels cared for, as she feels, um, you know, just just happy and, and we're appreciated and, you know, these different things, her heart's attraction tends to grow and in the same way the Bible tells us that we love because he first loved us that, that our hearts attraction grows towards him as we recognize his goodness as we recognize how he cares for us how he he loves us how he 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 delights in us and how he has given himself completely over to win us to himself and so as we're hearing the gospel and these different things um, we find um, our heart's attraction grows towards Him. And yet we also see a proposal of sorts as well that, that He says, I have done all this for you. I've, I've done all this to win you into 
right standing into relationship with me? Um, will you give yourself completely over um, to me? Will you join me in covenant relationship? Just as we see in the physical with um, a, a man proposing to this woman um, and she has an option to, to, to join herself in covenant relationship. And, and essentially that's where, um, so in the marriage, the, the couple is, is vowing each other to the other person, they say, I commit myself wholly to you um, for the rest of my life, for your benefit. So then also in sex itself, this very physical act that it also includes the emotions, it includes the, the spiritual realm as well. Um, this is a, an act where the each individual is designed to say, I am completely giving myself over to you just as I've already vowed myself to you in marriage. Now I am completely physically giving myself over to the other person for their benefit. And in that, in giving themselves over, they receive blessing as well. We see this um, in our relationship with Jesus as well and that as we surrender wholeheartedly over to Jesus as as he has offered himself he's offered life with himself and he has already given himself for us as we receive from that we trust him we say Jesus I make you the Lord of my life you're the director you're the master of my life as we receive from him we find great delight and great joy and as we receive from him he is blessed to bless us So my invitation for you guys is, if you have not received that intimate covenant relationship with Jesus, um, that he is passionately yearning for um, you to come into that with him. Um, and if you have received that already, just know that he delights in that time with you and he delights in enjoying that those intimacies with you. As, Maybe you're just, you're just going throughout your day and you see something beautiful and you just say, Jesus, look at that beautiful thing. You just enjoy that intimate moment with him. Maybe it is more a, a reserved time that you set aside with him. Maybe it's just an everyday conversation as you're discussing different things with him, asking for his wisdom, asking for his opinion, asking for his leading or his protection or these different things that Jesus has made you for this intimate covenant experience with him. And he delights when you partake of that with him.